Hello, this is Toll from Trifold Productions with another Blender Quickie. And in this Blender Quickie, I'm going to show you how you can modify or make pants, or actually just make pants in Blender. Uh, this is for beginners. I will we'll use uh, tips that incorporate the modifier tab in Blender to make your workflow a lot easier. Now, we're going to make pants for this character here. I'm going to leave a link of the uh, description, a link in the description below this video so you can download him and uh, follow along. But in order to import him into Blender, all you have to do after you've downloaded him is go to File, and then go to Import, Wavefront Object, and once you click on that, wherever you, you just navigate to wherever you saved him, the model in, and just import it by clicking Import Object, and that's all you have to do. And with our model selected, we're going to kind of smooth him out because he he's in a kind of a harder appearance they want them to be a little bit smoother just for the sake of this tutorial so I'm going to press W on my keyboard and shade smooth and he looks much better the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add to that cube if you delete the default cube that's fine if you want we just want we're just going to add it back into the scene you're going to press shift a and we're going to press cube and we're going to go to our uh, gizmo here navigational gizmo or the move gizmo and we're going to hover our mouse over the Z direction arrow, left click and drag up. Do the same thing. Just make sure that the well, we'll make sure we'll just do this part later, but we want to make sure that the top of the cube is around his waist because that's the top of the pant leg. Or the pants actually. And we're gonna next we're going to move it over to the right side. So we're gonna hover our mouse over the X directional arrow, left click and drag. And we want our pivot point here to be in the top left hand corner of the cube. So we're going to go to edit mode and we're going to press tab on our keyboard. And let's let's be able to, we want to be able to see through our uh, mesh here. So let's press this little icon at the top. And that gives us more of a transparent view of what we're working with of our cube. So we can see a lot better. We're going to press tab, which we've already done. We're going to left click and drag on the X axis so that the pivot point is at the top of the cube left click and drag on the x-axis I meant Z at the first time and then tab and then we're going to left click and drag on our z-axis again and pull it up and then do the same thing on the x-axis hover your left mouse button over the x-axis left click and drag inward to make sure that the top of the cube is around his belly button area that pivot point right there and then we're going to press tab and we're going to add a mirror modifier to this so we can model just one side of the pants and because it's mirrored it, the other side will be automatically mirrored also or modified or uh, modeled so we're going to press on this little icon here click on that add modifier and we're going to click mirror and you have to do this in edit mode while the cube is in this uh, state if you try to do it in object mode, you're going to just get some kind of weird and strange results. But now we're going to rotate the cube so that it's kind of parallel to how his leg is angled. Because his leg is going out in a... This is called an, an A pose. So we want the leg, the pant leg, to kind of angle out that way too. So click R on your keyboard and control. Also hold down control. And then move your mouse till, until the cube is parallel to that leg and we're going to let's see what else we're going to do let's pull this up on X on the z-axis again a little bit more okay that's good the next thing we want to do is that we want to obviously make the pant leg a little bit longer and let's pull it in a little bit more so that it kind of connects in the crotch area let's pull this in a little bit Okay, let's hold down our shift. If you want to actually like pivot around uh, in your user interface in Blender, hold down shift, the middle mouse button, and then you just drag like that. So you want to be able to see the bottom of his leg here. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to press A to deselect everything, and then press C for circle select. We want to make sure we actually select that whole bottom part of the cube. And we're going to just hover over this circle icon of the 
uh, move gizmo and just pull this straight down to the bottom of his ankle. So hold down the left mouse button and just drag it all the way down. Gotta make sure that it's done that in the back too because sometimes you can do that in the front and, and the back is still in the same position. So hold down your left, uh, hold down your mouse, middle mouse button, just kind of pivot with your mouse. Yes, I'll select it. So press 1 to go back into the front view. The next thing you want to do is want to get rid of the top part of the cube up here and the bottom part also because this is where the hole for the pants will be at the bottom and also at the top. So what we're going to do is hold down the middle mouse button and pivot up with your mouse. And then we're going to click on face select so we can only delete this face and then we're going to press X on our keyboard and delete faces hold down your middle mouse button again and then pivot down want to get rid of this top part too so just left click and that's been selected press X again to delete that face and then we're going to go into the front orthographic view by pressing one on our keyboard we're going to put a loop cut right here where his crotch is so we need to delete the face on this side also because this is where the uh, you know that's how pants are made hole at the top place in the middle for the you know area and then also at the bottom for your legs to go through so we're going to press control R on our keyboard and then this yellow line shows up and then left click once and then you just move your mouse up to the bottom of the crotch and left click again to confirm that selection hold down our middle mouse button again this pivot around so we could see inside of where we were working go to face select again and we want to get rid of this face right here so left click and that's been selected press X on your keyboard to delete that face and then that's done and press 1 to go into the front view again now we need to straighten out the top of the pants and the bottom of the pants because we want you know both of them to just because when we activate the um, cloth simulator we want to have good results so in order to do that let's go into the vertex select or the vertex yes vertex select selection and we have to go up to this icon and click on that and what we're going to do now is that we're going to press C for circle select on our keyboard click over hover over the uh, first of the vertices and click on that this same thing for the second set of vertices and then right click to deselect and because we're in this kind of transparent mode we're clicking or selecting what's in the front which is what we can see and also what's in the back which is what we're wanting to do and then we're going to press S Z on our keyboard and 0 to flatten that out we're going to do the same thing for the bottom press A to deselect everything and then press C for circle select left click on the first set of vertices left click on the right set of vertices right click to deselect everything S, Z, 0 again and that flattens that out also and let's do the same thing for this also this, this center part where we wanted to have that uh, crotch area so C or A again to deselect C left click on the first set of vertices left click on the right set of vertices and right click and then S Z 0 and that's straighten that out also and now what we want to do in the mirror modifier is press clipping and we're doing that because once we press clipping once we go into object mode after we have dragged these vertices over what it will do is it will connect these vertices together and just make it one solid mesh so we're going to this is what we're going to do to straighten this part out. So let's press A to deselect everything. C for circle select. Left click. And left click, right click. Just like the vertices at the top and at the bottom. And we're going to press S, Y, 0. Or maybe that's not the right one. Sometimes it's, it's kind of tricky in terms of which one, which coordinates you need to activate in order to get the right result. But let's press S X 0 okay that was it left click 
and we wanted to just straighten out the vertices so that they just go up and down as opposed to having that diagonal kind of uh, look to it. And we're going to left click or hover our, our mouse over the X directional arrow, left click and drag. And because we activated the clipping, once that's been activated, once we pull past a certain point, it's going to stop right at the middle of the pivot points. And that gives us a solid um, mesh to work with. Now it looks like we've got our pants the way we want them to look. So let's press this icon so we can get a better uh, visual of how the pants are coming out. So let's just press this icon. And now we still have a little bit of work to do because we want the mesh. We don't want this the uh, mesh the the mesh of the pants to intersect at all with the model uh, because that will give us some kind of weird results. So we're going to have to pull out uh, the mesh at the top. And probably on the side too, yes. And maybe well, the back is fine. So the side and the front need to be separated from the uh, the model itself. So let's press 1 again. And the way we're going to do that is that we're going to press this icon once again. And we're going to press A to deselect everything. Hold down your middle mouse button and pivot so that the model, the top of the model is leaning towards you. And we're going to press C for circle select and press left click to select that vertice. And just make sure that once you select that vertice, you don't select any, any of the ones behind it. And we're going to just pull it on the, the Y axis. So left click and drag on the Y and pull that out until you see the pants come completely out of the mesh. Okay, it looks good. Let's press this icon again to see where we are. Okay, we got this. The thighs are still coming through in the front. So have a bit of the crotch coming through. So we're going to go into edge selection. Click on that icon. And then we're going to left click on that edge to have that selected. Hold down your middle mouse button and turn the model so it pivots close. The top part pivots towards you. And we're going to hover our mouse over the Y direction arrow again. And we're going to pull that out. Okay, it looks good. We're going to do the same thing on the side of the pants, so to speak. So left click on that edge again. And this time we're going to pull on the X directional arrow. Hold down your left mouse button, click and drag. And there we go. That, that looks good. Looks pretty good. Let's press 1, go into the front orthographic view again. And now at the top here, we want to kind of pull it out at the top especially I don't know on this side it seems to be fine but on the the right side it seems to be intersecting with the model so let's press tab to go out of edit mode and just move the whole model of the pants or the mesh of the pants towards the towards the left or towards the right here okay yeah, let's let's move it out let's extend the side out so let's press tab and then left click and drag on the X axis. Go to the top part, left click, left click, click and drag on the X axis again. Okay, and that looks good. And we're, we're just wanting to model this as best as we can to resemble pants before we add the cloth simulator. So that, you know, when we add the simulator, we have a good result from it. And so we have this done. Okay, the next thing we need to do is let's um, subdivide it so let's press tab and then A twice to deselect and select the whole thing and then press W on your keyboard and press subdivide and we're going to go to this pop-up menu click on that to expand it and then add two cuts to it to increase the number of cuts let's uh, minimize that and what we're going to do now is we're going to, to shape these to look more like pants before we add the modifier. And in order to do that, we're going to move the edges of the pants mesh to kind of resemble more of a circular pattern or circular kind of uh, aspect to it. So we're going to A, deselect everything. And we're going to hover our mouse over this edge of the pants. Press Alt and keyboard, hold down Alt and left click. And when you do that, it selects the whole line of vertices. And we're going to move this in on the x-axis. So hover your mouse over the x-axis, left click and drag. 
okay we're gonna do the same thing to this edge here so turn pivot your model around your whole scene by uh, holding on your middle mouse button and dragging the whole model until you can see the back edge of this uh, of the pants here press A to deselect hold on alt hover your mouse over this edge left click and then we're going to left click and drag on the x-axis again and pull that in pull that towards the middle and that looks uh, looks pretty good okay and we're going to do the same thing for this inner part of the uh, pants mesh so A D to, C to deselect left uh, hold down your alt alt button on your uh, keyboard and then left click select that whole set of vertices hover your mouse over the X axis left click and drag okay press 1 that looks pretty good so we're going to press tab again to get out of um, edit mode and now what we're going to do now is we're going to activate the cloth simulator but just for uh, just to have it in mind for yourselves whenever you're modeling any kind of cloth simulation make sure you try to model it outside of whatever scene you're working on because I've had situations where I've, I've uh, had a, a scene a complete like bedroom scene I, and I've tried to model maybe a curtain or something like that and activate the cloth simulator inside of the model as the last thing to make and it just went berserk it just was horrible so whatever cloth simulations you want to model in Blender before you create your own the scene model the cloth first that's the first rule second rule is whenever you model pants or shirts you want to put pockets in there or you want to put you know any kind of ruffles or anything like that it's best to just paint that stuff in because I've had situations where I've tried to I've modeled pants and I've put in pockets and things like that activate the cloth simulator and it just still goes berserk I don't know what that is if that's a bug or what but if you want to add pockets to your your cloth simulations pants or shirts paint paint it in paint it in as a texture don't model it just paint it in that's the, the rule of thumb those two things keep that in mind now we're going to activate the cloth sim simulator but before we do that we want to pin the top of the pants so what we're going to do is we're going to apply the uh, mirror modifier first that's the first thing we have to do so apply that and once we press tab we see that it's just one mesh now now let's go back up to let's go tab into edit mode and go to the edge and to the vertex select click on that and we're going to go back to our x-ray transparent mode so we can get everything from front to back press a to deselect press C to circle select we're going to hold hold down our left mouse button click and drag across the top we want to select everything at the top because this we this is where we want the pants to actually stay and not fall down because if we don't do this pin it at the top once we activate the cloth simulator the pants are just going to fall straight to the ground we don't want that so left click and drag and then uh, right click to deselect or to deactivate the uh, circle select and we're going to go down to this icon, this these uh, this triangle. Click on that. And we're going to add a vertex group. So add plus, and double click. And we're, I'm going to call this pants pin. Pants pin. Enter. This is in caps, but it doesn't have to be in caps. That's just what's on my keyboard. And then we're going to click assign at weight 100%. So that means this whole top part has the vertex group assigned to it. Pants pin and then left click or click tab to get out of the uh, edit mode the next thing we're going to do is activate our um, cloth simulation and we're going to click on the modifier and I've said this before if you want to have more of a realistic look in terms of the pants itself uh, simulating cloth more you would have to increase the uh, vert count by adding a subdivision surface to it which you know the higher the vert count the slower the uh, results will be it's going to take a long, a long time to render a long time to uh, process the cloth simulation but that's up to you and the specs of your computer but we're going to go to add modifier and we're going to 
No, we're going to go to the cost and lay. I was going to add the subdivision surface to it, but let's hold off on that. Let's go to actually. Let's let me go. Let me backtrack. Let me go back to the vertex group and let's delete that because I'm going to actually increase the uh, number of cuts in here. But I'm going to do it uh, in an another way. So press Tab. Press A twice to select everything. W and subdivide. Okay. We're going to leave it at this tab to get out of that. And that will increase the number of uh, verts in here, but not to the point where it's going to slow down our um, user interface. So tab again, press A. See the circle select. We're going to select that top row again. Left click and drag. Right click to deactivate the circle select. Let's add that vert group again. Double click. Pants. Pin. And then the sign. And tab out of that. Now, you can see here it's gathered together quite a bit. Hopefully, it's not going to mess up the simulation, but we'll just see how it turns out. So let's go to, let me see, I think it's this icon, yes? This circle with, I think, a planet orbiting a circle. I don't know what that's supposed to represent, but just um, go to the, um, the physics tab. I guess that's a physics, a molecule, I guess. I don't know. And then let's click on cloth. And then we're going to leave all the settings the same. And you can bake the, the uh, simulation because once you bake it, that's a good idea to bake it. Once it's been, it's been baked, you don't have to. It doesn't have to recalculate every time you you press play. Once it's baked in there, it'll it's permanent. But we're not going to bake it uh, today. But let's go to let me see. Yes, shape. And from pin group, click in this little spacer and press pants pin, and that's going to ensure that that has been pinned. And and we're going to also activate the uh, let me see collisions. And then we're going to turn on self collisions. That way, if the cloth ends up going into itself, it's not going to go through itself. It's just going to stay uh, pretty much like cloth does stay uh, in its own region, so to speak. And then we're going to go to our model here. Click on that and go to collision. That way, the cloth doesn't go through our model. It just stays on top of the skin. And then let's press this icon to deactivate so we can see the results of, uh, of the pants being simulated here. And the next thing I'm going to do is just press play. And it's, it's working, but let's pull this up a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's working, but because our vert count is so low, you can't really see much of any kind of difference. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a subdivision surface to it and then hopefully blender doesn't crash but let's see what happens okay let's go to our modifier here add modifier subdivision surface and we're going to click up turn the viewport up to two and then we're going to click apply okay okay and we're gonna press W. Oh, oh! I, I think I applied it to the the uh, the model as opposed to applying it to the the pants. Let's Control Z. Sorry about that. Let me delete that. Want to apply it to the pants only? Okay. So subdivision surface. Click on that. You can see the results. It's a lot smoother. Let's turn the viewport up to two and see what we come come up with. So. Hopefully Blender doesn't crash. I have a pretty strong graphics card, so it should be fine. But let's press after we've applied, or it's been activated, the cost simulation and the subdivision surface is activated. Press play. Let's see what we come up with. Okay, it's, it's there. You can see the cloth is moving inward. That's, that's how you can tell it's actually been applied. But I think we have to bump up the subdivision surface even more. So let me press escape out of that. Let's bump it up to three. See, the higher your vert count, the more realistic the cloth looks. Only problem is it could slow down your render time on your computer and maybe even crash Blender. But once again, 
do it at your own uh, discretion. How you feel, you know, what you feel comfortable with. Let's press play again. Okay, now it's really starting to simulate cloth or a pair of pants. Okay. We press escape again. Now I'm going to apply it. And hopefully, once it's been applied, you can't really reverse it unless you press Control Z, but I'm going to apply it anyway and see what happens. Apply. Okay. Now let's press play. You can see this is a lot slower. A lot, lot slower. Oh, it's doing some really... I think that was a little bit too much because it's really going kind of ballistic now. Let me press escape before it crashes. Okay. All right. Control Z. Let me reduce the... Uh, just reduce it to two. And then press apply. And then press play again. Okay. Yeah, see now now it's starting to simulate cloth. It's not it's not hasn't been smoothed. It's still kind of the in the um the uh kind of the harsher version or harsher setting in Blender. But yeah, see once it's been once more verts have been added to the cloth simulation, then it simulates cloth more realistically. Yeah, but that's how you can make a simple pair of pants in Blender. And once again, once you have done, you have a, you want a cloth simulation in the scene, do it separate from your actual scene. That way you don't get crazy results. And paint in the pants uh, with texture paint, texture paint the pants in or the pockets in for the pants and you know, the shirt, things like that. But it's not really a good idea to model pockets in cloth simulation. In Blender, I don't know if it's been fixed, but all the times that I've tried, it's just been kind of chaotic. But yeah, but that's how you, this is how you can model a simple pair of pants in Blender with the cloth simulation and some simple modifiers. I hope this was helpful to someone, and uh, thank you guys for subscribing and the ones who will still subscribe in the future. Really appreciate you guys. Thanks a lot, and see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.